We are back in Way of the Hunter on Nez Perce Valley. I'm OCG. Today we're doing a realistic hunt for some mule deer. I hope you guys enjoy. Well, right outside camp here, it looks like we got three old boys. This is the biggest one, I'm pretty sure. I can't see this guy's yet, but that guy right there is not very big. I hate to sway, man. Okay, so I think I'm going to take this guy. Unless I can get eyes on this guy. If I can see his antlers there, I'll, I'll see, but I think he's not quite as big as this guy. This guy's obviously not a five or anything, but he's not bad. Okay, yeah. Not quite as not quite as big. Yeah, I'll let you live. This is the guy I'm gonna take. If he gives me a shot. Actually. Should be a heart shot, to be honest. Yeah, boys. Nailed it! There's some white tail over there, but I uh, didn't really see anything important, so I'm going to ignore those guys. So to make up for our, <laughs> our our melanistic moose dying on us last episode, if you haven't seen that, go check it out. It, it, but this episode, we're going to get a, four, a five star, a five star a melanistic mule deer. All right, we're calling it right now, right now. Okay, calling it right now. It's going to happen. Everybody, think it into existence, please. This guy's not bad. I'm going to say he is a three-star. Um, maybe a three-star. We'll see. Oh, he's a four. Okay, 84% mature. Not bad at all. Good to take out, though. He wouldn't have made it to a five. I think this is... He was, like, dead at the very end of his stage of matureness now. So, just to sell, though. I am going to stay in the grasslands today. I just want to see what we have down here. And grasslands is one of their main habitats, so... Maybe we'll have some giants down here, because it's been a while since we've hunted the grasslands. We usually stay for the lowland forest and stuff. You know how I said we're going to find a five-star melanistic? How about this? We're going to find a five-star melanistic non-typical. Yep. That's going to make up for our moose. It's going to happen. I'm willing it into existence right now. Why'd the pheasant cross the road? I don't know. I'm just asking you. There's a chance there's a herd over here, and I won't be able to see them in time, so I'm going to go ahead and place down a stand. Maybe that will allow me to get eyes on them before I spook them. If there's even a herd down here, and it doesn't look like there is. Oh, there is. Okay. Well, let's see what we have. I saw one old guy right off the bat right there. Not very massive. But there's another guy right there, and I don't know what he is. Uh, he's not that massive either. But there's a couple more down there. I think those are all females. Well, either way, one of these guys is going to be what we take. Probably this guy because he's lopsided. The only reason I'm taking him is because he's old. And he's lopsided, so add on to that. A double whammy for him. He is dead. Not a heart shot, but close enough. I'm going to say this guy is a two-star. I don't think he was anything special. Oh, man, we're close to the heart. Yep, two-star, 65% mature. Good to take out. Lopsided, obviously, just so. I got some mule deer right here in front of me, but so far it is looking like they are not that big. That guy right there is the oldest, and that guy right there is the biggest, but he's got a lot left to grow still, so... I think I'll go ahead and take this guy that's really old. If I can get a good shot on him here. I say really old, but you know what I mean, he's not like... Crazy old, but... He's definitely old. Was that not a good shot? Okay, he's gonna die, but that wasn't a good shot, I guess. Man, I thought that was a... Uh... I thought that was a heart shot, to be honest, but I guess it was just a lung, and it must have been just a single lung, because the way he ran looked like he could run for a bit. Yeah, it was definitely a long shot, but that's uh, not exactly what I was aiming for. <laughs> I was trying to hit a heart. Oh well. At least it's a long shot. Now, I don't know where the blood is from here, so I'm just going to follow where I think he is. There he is, right there in front of us. I'm going to say he's probably a two-star. 
I don't think he's anything crazy. Hmm, there's some more over there. And that's not the ones I was looking at, because the other ones are... over there somewhere. I just saw them a second ago. Oh yeah, nothing crazy at all. He might even be a one. Oh, two star, 39% mature. Yeah, definitely good to take out. Just so. And to get better eyes on these guys, let's go ahead and put down a stand. That'll give me a height advantage. I don't think this is the same herd. Uh, there's nothing to take there anyway. These guys are both pretty young. We'll let them live. Well, I know there's a herd of mule deer that can be in this area, but I don't see them yet. I heard twig snaps over here, so my guess is they're over here. So what I'm going to do is get a little closer here. Maybe sit by the water. And give a couple calls and see if we can bring these guys out. Because I think they're back behind these hills. Find out shortly. Oh, yep, we already got one. Okay. Fantastic. Well, I'm going to sit here and wait for these guys to show up. See what we have. Something's right here behind this tree. I can't obviously see it, but pretty sure it's a male. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It looks like a big boy. Could be wrong. Just from the glimpses I see, it looks like a big boy. Find out really soon, because he's about to peek out of these trees here. Be an absolute giant, please. I'm going to go ahead and get my gun ready just in case he is something I want to take out really quick. Oh, ho, ho, yeah. Ah, never mind. You're good, but you're not a five. Definitely worth taking because you're old. You are high fitness as well. Doesn't look like anybody else is coming in, so... Pretty sure that was a hard shot. Maybe not. I guess it's a long shot. I don't think he's going to make it too far. Oh, yep. <laughs> Didn't make it very far at all, so that's a good shot. It was a hard shot, but not technically, because the lung really went, did it. Expansion got the heart there. I'm going to say... I'm going to say this guy's a three-star. Oh, we got another four star, 77% mature. Wouldn't have made it to a five, so obviously good to take out. Yeah, I can see him being a four, so he's not bad. But, you know, obviously, <laughs> just to sell. I was just about to say there's a good possibility for mule deer down here, which is at this location here. And sounds like we do. Where? I don't know yet. But they're down here. That is for sure. And to be honest, it sounded like two locations. One over here and one over here, but... Uh, could just be the sound echoing. So I'm gonna move, uh, down a little bit. Not much. And then we'll give a couple calls here and see if we can bring these guys out of the woods. Because I can't see squat. Never mind. As soon as I say that, there they are. Okay, okay, where's our, where's our giant melanistic? Come on now, come on, he's got to exist somewhere. Well, I guess we could find out if we have a giant. Wrong one, wrong one again, there we go. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Sounds like it, not you, because you're, you're small. Yep, he's high fitness, though. I thought I saw an, an older guy over here, too, but I don't see him. It's just this guy. Which, obviously, I don't want to take him, because he's still young, or at least not mature. He's also not that big. Yeah, he's definitely the one I want. Man, this guy's really close. It's at least a long shot. I don't know how big he really was. I know he was mature. I would say he's probably a three. Just to guess. I don't think he's too much further here. 
Making turns all over the place. Oh, here he is. Yeah, I'm gonna say he's like a two or three. Oh, he's non-typical. Okay, he he might be a four. Shoot, he might even be a five. I uh, don't think he's a five. Could be wrong, though. Four star. 90% mature. Shoot. Ah, he could have been a five. I don't know how old he was. I mean, obviously mature. But was he early stage, mid stage, late stage mature? He's super white in the face, but his body's still kind of got a ways to go but get to get super white. So I think he might be either mid stage or early stage mature. He could have been a big boy. <sighs> you know what that means? R.I.P. in the comments. Dang it. Just a cell. I know we're in a lowland forest right now, and that means it's a secondary habitat for elk, which I just heard. So I'm I'm going to call and see what we have. I don't think we're going to get a five-star out of it because it's a secondary habitat, so the chances of getting a five-star are really slim. But we'll give a call here and see if we have at least a four-star or something. So see what we got. I was working my way... Let me get that out of my hands so I don't bug it. I was working my way towards this feed zone here for these mule deer, but there was nothing here. At, clearly, I'm inside their feed zone right now. Uh, where, where is it at? Yeah, right here. There you go. So, I think their other feed zone might be down here. Somewhere in this area. So that's kind of where I was heading next, but then I heard these elk calls, so I was like, well, shoot. Might as well see what we got. Spooked them. Doesn't look like anything's crazy in there anyway, so... That's a big old herd of elk. Yeah, a bunch of tiny guys. Alright, you guys can live then. I'm gonna continue down this way and see if we can find these mule deer. Well, I believe I found them. But yeah, it's definitely mule deer. Now it's just a matter of... Is this the same herd that was after? Or... A different herd completely? And the other question is, do we have any big boys? Not seeing anything crazy right now, but can't quite see them all yet. It's definitely somebody right here on this tree. Okay, it's a female. Somebody right there. So far, everybody is looking kind of small. Hmm, what are you? I don't think anything is worth taking in this. This herd might be a pass. I'm going to wait for this guy right here to show himself and then... And then I'll make the decision, but... I think it's going to be a pass on this herd. Yep, that herd's going to be a pass. There's going to be some decent guys in there, but they all are pretty much young right now, except for this guy. This guy might be... Might be early stage mature, but... Eh, not worth taking. Did come over here to grab their zone, though. Which, this should be it. Uh, bam! Got it! Well, I worked my way over to this herd here, because I tried to find it here in this herd, but I don't know where the other feed zone is. I'm guessing somewhere over here, but no clue, really. While I'm working my way over there, I want to tell you guys a story. I don't know if I've said this before. When I was 10 years old, uh, I got some Powerball tickets that my mom bought. I got to pick the numbers for them. Now, I'm not going to bring religion into it, but I did ask for these numbers, and they did pop in my head. Um, so I wrote them down, and I gave them to my mom. My mom went and bought the tickets, and I was just sitting here waiting for her to figure out if I won or not, right? And if you don't know how the Powerball works, you need all six to get the jackpot. Uh, there's obviously other ways to win, but this plays into the story here. So I was waiting for the announcement, and they were announcing the numbers one by one. And I was like, ooh, I got that one. Ooh, I got that one. Ooh, I got that one. Ooh, I have that one. Oh, I have that one. Okay. I have five numbers, but I missed the Powerball. I don't know if I counted all five there, but... I had five numbers, but I didn't have the Powerball. I was like, shoot, I lost. I didn't win. Nope. Little did I know, at the time, that was a million dollars. I threw that ticket away. Because I thought I lost. I didn't know any better. My mom didn't know that I had, you know, five numbers. Or, I'm pretty sure she would have stopped me. <laughs> I wish she did know now, because I would have had a million dollars. But, 
Yeah, I threw that ticket away and I did not find out that you could win a million dollars with five numbers until two years later. Yeah. <laughs> uh, like I say, that's my luck. <laughs> that is that is my luck. Alright, that's my luck. Man, are they not going to be here either? Start to look that way. Unless they're over the hill, but unlikely. It might be at this speed zone, so I'm going to head that way. But yeah, you can go ahead and put our RIP in the comments for my loss of a million dollars. Now it is 10 o'clock, so there's a chance they're heading to a, a drink zone, so I might not have them here at all. There is a drink zone down here, so they could be heading that way. Because I'm already inside their feed zone. Pretty much. And I haven't heard anything, so no twig snaps, nothing. So my guess is they've already started to leave, and they're heading towards a drink zone. Well, the spot I have for the mule deer down here is not where these guys are at, so... I don't quite know where they're going to be. I feel like we've hunted this water before. It's definitely been a while, though. Yeah, I don't see squat down there. Nope, nope. Here we go, here we go. Who are you? Move bush, you're in my way. Are you mule deer or are you white tail? Hard to tell from this distance. Looks like mule deer. No giant five-star melanistic. Shoot. At least that I can see. And a little closer and see what we got. I think there's two decent-sized ones. This guy and this guy back there behind the bridge. Ah, maybe none. <laughs> I think that's the biggest one there. I think I'm going to take him out because I think he's old. Also need to find a zone. So if he presents a shot here, we'll take it. I could take that. I'm afraid I'm going to hit the wood though. Can I see him from here? Sort of. I would like to see the other guy there. But I think this is going to be our biggest. Pretty sure that is a kill shot. Might have crossed the water. Eh, maybe not. He's right here. <laughs> okay, you are nothing special. You are all kinds of messed up, so I'm going to say you're a two-star. Two-star, 61% mature. Good to take out. Obviously, that means just so. And with that, guys, that is going to be it for this episode. If you guys want to see more videos like this one, check out these videos right here. Thank you guys for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please head down and hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to leave a like and a comment. I'd like to hear from you guys. I'll catch you guys in the next episode. And as always, have a fantastic day. OCG out.